zones. Hey, it's a hospital zone. Keep it down. Uh, hello? Do any of you thermometer jockeys care that these people are suffering? <sighs> Sir? I'm the head nurse. Well, that's incredibly obliging of you, but I gotta take a rain check as I'm running a little late. There's a, uh, a motion, a picture, a crew uh, doing some location type stuff in your little chop shop, and they're waiting for you know who to make his film debut. Well, unless you count the little thing I did with the zebra and the fishnet stockings, but it was spring break and I was drunk. <laughs> I'm sure you know how it is. Well, enough yammering, Lucretia. Wrangle my ride, will you? M R I. It sounds so scary. I'm frightened and disoriented. How you doing? Why, it's legendary guitarist Joe Walsh. Relax, Molly. We're going to teach you all about MRI. We? Me and a friend of mine. La, 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 la. Hi, Joe. Hi, Molly. I'm Loby, the MRI pixie. You know, magnetic resonance imaging sounds scary, but it's easy. You just climb into a massive metal cylinder, and your skull is bombarded with magnetic impulses, causing every atom in your brain to shudder violently. Whee! La, 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 la. Nice planning. Sticking a light right where I'm walking. Clark, Clark. Who are you? Duckman. Your eagle-eyed assistant spotted me at the movies the other night and cast me. There, that's her. Ask her. Weren't you taller? Ow. Hey, watch it. Ixnay. Uh, just a a ticket, please, for I'm only one a person, not the two. Whoa! <laughs> <clears throat> Optical illusion, probably. All the fluorescent lights. Phil, I, I don't get it. I had him playing freakishly tall, bad accent man number two. So, uh, what kind of pick we lens in here? Action? Action thriller? Buddy action, comedy action thriller? Those studios make so many different kinds. This isn't a feature film. Ha! I knew something was fishy when I didn't see Gene Hackman or Tommy Lee Jones. What is this, a snuff film? We're making a teaching video for patients of MedTech Umena hospitals, and we won't be needing you. Thanks, honey, but I'll wait until I hear that from, you know, a man. Actually, it might bring the shot to life if we had a guy in the MRI. And he's perfect. Moronic features, jaundiced pallor, glassy stare. I also drool. Your MRI guy. Get in. Joe Walsh? You're in this? Actually, I do a lot of medical videos. It's fun, interesting, and they pump my stomach for free. Duck. In. Now. Okay, everybody, let's make this one for the shelf. Give the Sticks Hicks our picks to Nicks for all the little people out there in the dark. Ah, there's nothing as exciting as being on a movie set. like to say, Mariah. Uh, Joe, that's M-R-I-A-O-K. -okay. Hey, what the? Get out of my lab. We're in the middle of shooting. The only thing you're shooting is your mouth off. Now I want you and your merry band of Van Moose, or I'll insert this catalog in your rectoid mucosa, and you'll find out why they call it the sharper image. Now scram. Man, you got a lot of rage. Get a haircut, Ringo. Hello, Hector? Oh, you heard? Well, I don't care how important these videos are to Metecumena. My research is more important! Great, Scott! I'll call you later! Once again, Hollywood articulates itself. Eureka! Eureka! Eureka, there was a duck. He left here a few minutes ago. Find him. I don't believe what's in his brain. <laughs> uh, 
What the hell are you staring at? Got enough tapioca there, Dad? If you're still hungry, I think some drip behind the stove. Oh, <laughs> stoves are funny. Hey, everyone. Remember last week when the criminal lookalike took Grandmama's place until the police presumably put the right one in prison and returned the real Grandmama? <laughs> For no discernible reason whatsoever, it was then that I realized how lonely old people are. So I had a gnarlacious idea. Give cats who need love to old people who, uh, need, um, old. What's on TV? Getting back to your idea, dear, where will you get the cats? Streets, alleys, county vans. <laughs> Grandmama, meet Maroki. Aw, oh, that sweet Ajax. There's nothing like a companion. Sorry to break into your outhouse. I... Oh, my God. You live here. Who are you, and what gives you the right to barge into people's homes? I'm Dr. Craig Ehrlich. Oh. <laughs> Well, do sit down. Take off those shoes. Perhaps a quick foot massage and a dozen or so years of wedded bliss. <laughs> what, am I the only one who heard the word doctor? Dr. Ehrlich, eh? Are you related to Dr. Dre? When you were born, were there any problems with the umbilical cord? No, though lately I've found it to be a bit of an inconvenience. <gasps> where will you get the cats? There you are, duck man. You shouldn't have run out, you naughty little scalawag. <laughs> Grab him! Wendy, Tink, we're flying. Doctor, not to be nosy, but why are you kidnapping our dad? Boys, I don't care enough about what you think of me to lie to you. I've spent my career in search of an end to the worst blight in human history. Not him. I'm talking about cancer. And we're about to make medical history. For I, Dr. Craig Ehrlich, have finally found the cure for it. Here, in Duckman's brain. <gasps> Well, I'd like to thank the Duckman family for another lovely afternoon. Good news. You all test negative. I'm sorry about this, but I had to see if any of you carry the same isotope Duckman does. It can be passed genetically or through sharing a living environment. Why me? I'm not his family. I don't live with him. I'm just his friend. And you wonder why your head's being examined? Enough said. Doctor, how can Dad's brain be a medical miracle? It barely makes it as a brain. Woohoo! <laughs> Look! Do it once! <laughs> Someone must have left the MRI on. It hit Duckman with enough impulses to kill a T-Rex in a lead helmet. Then why isn't he dead? Not that, you know, that would be a thing I'd wish for, or was even for one second secretly imagining. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Great Scott! What the? Where am I? I'm strapped down and receiving gut-twisting electric shocks, but my usual boy Randy is nowhere in sight. Duckman, we've been kidnapped and are being held prisoner. You know, for a detective with no cases, I sure get kidnapped a lot. Duckman, you and I are going to make the greatest advance in medical science since penicillin. Yeah, that was good. Huh? Here, between the cerebrum and the cerebellum, in the antebellum. See the scarlet lump? That's a new form of subcortical astrocytoma full of the anti-cancer isotope. The growth must have been there for years until the MRI mutated it. Wow! You mean I can cure cancer? Okay, Doc of the Bay, let's do some good. Glom some globulin, cure a little cancer. I'll get back to whatever it is I do and I'll see you in Stockholm. Do they have a Hooters there? Duckman, you don't understand. The only way to get to the isotope is to operate. I'm talking about a medical procedure that will leave your brain inoperable. Oh, well, I have a scar? Chicks dig scars. No, no, you moron! I have to cut off your head! No, none of it will leave a scar! Doctor, let me. Duckman, to get the isotope, he'd have to kill you. Oh, why didn't he say s 
Hey, just a minute! Duckman, don't you see? This is your chance at immortality. Call me a stickler, but I figure I have a better shot at immortality if you don't kill me! I don't like when people suffer, but I like it even less when I suffer. In this life, Doc, you gotta look out for number one. But, uh, in this case, you should actually look out for me, so I'm, like, <laughs> number two. Well, we all agree on that. I know how you feel, Duckman, but a wise man once said, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Hey, that wise man was Mr. Spock, and the only reason he felt that way was because he knew they'd send his body to the Genesis planet so he could come back to life. Actually, he thought they were gonna bring him to Vulcan to be reborn. Yeah, the Genesis planet was just a happy accident. You know, all Picard has to do is send Kirk's body to the Genesis planet, then he can come back to life. But the Nexus destroyed Kirk's body. Hey, what if they did that slingshot around the sun thing, went back in time a couple of days, and beamed Kirk and Picard some big guns to kill Malcolm McDowell with? Oh, he was so good in time after time. What about Clockwork Orange? That was awesome. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Oh, no! The MRI must have been on too long last night. It's overheating, creating an intense magnetic field. Let's go! Follow me! Hello, security? we were spared because none of us are wearing any metal. Wow, good thing I didn't wear my official G-Spot checker medallion. <laughs> Always gets a laugh. Look, I know you want to protect me, but it's not you he's after, so no argument. I want you all to get out of here and not worry about... Huh? Me. There he is! That tickles. Oh, stop! Hey! Oh. Are you guys IRS? The Mafia? Oh, no! You're not Ticketmaster! Hmm. Woohoo! <gasps> hey! How dare you barge into my office! It's my office, Duckman. I had you brought here so we could talk. Well, you saved my life. There was this Daffy Doc, and he was gonna give me an operation that'd kill me. Can you imagine? No. I'd prefer to kill you with a great deal more pain. I'm gonna call our congressman, get that SOB to rouse the FDA, AGW, DOJ, and every other VIP in DC ASAP! Thank you for calling the United States of America. We are open from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. weekdays and are located between Canada and Mexico in the Western Hemisphere. If you would like to make a declaration of war, press 1. Trade treaties and tariffs, press 2. Durables. Nature's perfect machines. Yeah, they're the best. Listen, uh, I was distracted by the gun and my bladder emptying and all. Did you say you were going to kill me? Slowly and sadistically, I get intense pleasure from inflicting suffering and misery on others. I'm one of Alphonse D'Amato's largest contributors. But I've been rude. Please, sit. I'm Roland Thompson, CEO of MedTech Humana Hospital Group, one of America's largest health and medical services networks. I like to say if you've got a bedpan under you, MedTech Humana touched it first. <laughs> and as the nation's leading healthcare provider, I must kill you. Well, obviously you and Ehrlich have got some uh, who's gonna kill Duckman issues to work through. Ehrlich is a fool. I never thought he would actually find a cure for cancer. Wait, you don't want the cure? Please, sit down. I'm not in the health business, Mr. Duckman. I'm in the health care business. The more beds I fill, the more profits I make. But it does me no good to fill them with sniffles and sprained ankles and other low-rent maladies. That's why we invented the $12 aspirin and the $8 cotton ball, to increase profit margin on lesser diseases. They never just kill you. There's always a lecture. Oy. You come in with, say, a bad back, you'll get x-rays, MRIs, bone scans, discograms, myelograms. And $60,000 later, we sell you a $400 heating pad you could have bought at the drugstore for 30 bucks. 
But it's not enough. Not nearly. No. We need the premium patients. Big money procedures, like coronary bypass, gallbladder removal, pulmonary wedge resection, unnecessary hysterectomies. To become a U.S. ally and enjoy all ally benefits, like free trade, U.N. forces, and complimentary upgrades at Avis locations worldwide, press 34. If you have taken or plan to take American hostages, press 35. Laparoscopies, barium enemas, but the big kahuna, the everlasting gobstopper, the grand mac daddy of them all is cancer. Cancer alone accounts for 53% of our annual profits. The needless diagnostics, hopeless therapies, experimental drugs, it's a dream come true. Whew. I was afraid while I was in there you'd escape. Ah, where was I? Cancer is a dream come true. All right. Yes, yes, the Chewy Profit Center in the middle of the healthcare lolly. Protected by a cartel of businessmen who depend on cancer to keep them in business. Look. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your cancer profiteers. Doctors, lab workers, pharmaceutical manufacturers, obituary writers, probate lawyers, the Florida Formaldehyde Growers Council, veil makers, New Yorkers who need apartments, the Republican Party. What's the Republican Party got to do with cancer? Nothing, really. They just go where the evil is. Now, to preserve the growth industry that is cancer, prepare to die. Ah! Me security. Here's my car. Nice ride. My dealer offered me all these options, but I got the novelty breast shaped dome light instead. Hang on. Duckman, I realize I've been wrong all along. I was acting like the end justifies the means. Thompson, hold on. some experience, Doc. Maybe putting the cure for cancer in my brain was someone's way Hey, did you hear that? He's got a cure for cancer in his brain! Crack open his head! Let's get it! <laughs> Stop! Listen to me! Don't you see? Alive, his brain can provide data for research. But if he dies, the cure is lost to us forever! It's like the goose that laid the golden eggs when the greedy king decided to cut him open to get all the eggs at once. It killed the goose! Hey, he lays golden eggs, too! Let's cut him open and get all the eggs at once! <laughs> He'll die if I don't operate! Let me get him in the car! Well, it was touch and go. He lost a lot of blood, but he pulled through and we're confident he'll make a full recovery. He wanted you all to know that his will to live came from knowing the people he loves were out here and that he's feeling strong and should be home soon. Hey, get back here! I rehearse these things and everything! Anyway, here's the really good part. His brain injuries happen to give me a clear path to the isotope! We have our cure for cancer! Yay! 
Good thing, too, because the remaining tissue shows no reaction to MRI pulses. As I told Duckman, this is all we're ever going to get. Could we see it? All right, but be careful. It's in that specimen dish. Oh, no! <gasps> Catch him! That cat ate the cure for cancer! Did you hear that? The cat's got a cure for cancer in him. Let's kill it! <laughs> it's over. I'm okay. I'm alive. I just hope I did the right thing. But there's no need to worry about that anymore. In fact, there's no need to worry about anything while I'm here. All I have to do is kick back, relax, and leave myself in the safe and capable hands of all these trained medical professionals. <laughs> Where's this one going? OR2, hysterectomy. Nature's perfect machines. Yeah, they're the best. Yeah.